Hello everybody, it's the Vintage Reviewer back with another video, and today we will be reviewing the Hasbro's 1986 Inhumanoids MagnaCore. Now, I know Inhumanoids isn't, like, the most well-known or popular toy line, comic books, or show, but uh, I like it. Maybe give it a look. Just saying. Uh, also, they are... Because they are not the most popular or uh, well-known toy line, comic book, or TV show. I mean, cartoon. Uh, they're uh, not very easy to get. And in the condition that they are in. So here's MagnaCore. I quite like him. I quite like him indeed. He's a little rocky guy. This is him. With his shell still on. Lot of, got a lot of nice uh, rocky got a lot of nice rocky textures here on him at the back it's a rocky the front his face with those can I get on camera? Can I focus it in on camera? Well, I can focus it into myself, and I can't get it on camera. There, I'm looking through the way. That's good enough. That's probably the best I'm going to get it. And they have light piping. He has glowing green eyes. Got a nice uh, lighter gray for the face there, or whatever uh, that's going on here. He's got his arms up. Not articulated uh, as of the moment. It's got a nice little rock six-pack. And his feet. Yeah. This is... He's, he's got his shell on now, but if we take off the shell, there's a peg here and a peg here. And the peg is really like really really busting me you gotta be careful with these because the clips the, the little tabs on the shell these little things these uh, do tend to love to break off, which is why it's so hard to find one of these with the tabs. And uh, if you were unfamiliar with the Inhumanoids line, uh, it's a bunch of freaky, well, Inhuman uh, figures. They got big, big, huge ones that are, you know, I'd probably have to double up my... My, my 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 backdrop here I'd probably have to double that up and get like a higher tripod that sets back a little further and it's all crazy and stuff but here we have MagnaCore uh, without his front shell on we got a little grimacing face and you can really see his green eyes Lovely, lovely, lovely. Absolutely gorgeous uh, paint on him. There's like muscles and... Oh, it's lava, obviously, but I mean... It's like Magna Core. Magna Core. It's, get, get it now. You, you probably got it. There's all the lovely detail that they put into this 
It's got the muscles and there's rocks in there. He still got his little rock six pack. And his little arms. Now, as for accessories, I don't think he has any. I think it's just this. I think it's just this. And articulation, which he does. I just missed. It's always on camera. I'm sorry. Uh, Mobi. <laughs> yes. He has, uh, he has some now without his shell on. His legs can go up. And they can't really go back a whole lot. Other one. His arms can go all the way around. Stand him up straight there. And his head can jostle back and forth. You know, because of his big old lower mouth and chin. Not a really whole lot of movement going on there. And he does have light piping. Let's see if I can open the right finger here. Oh, uh, you know what light piping is. It's the uh, thing right back there. You shine a light through, the eyes glow. I don't have my flashlight out here or else I would do it but mm, pretty cool figure and for 1986 we can see why the uh the toy line didn't really kick off really cool toys really cool toys but like five points real you know not even really five points of artic more like four points of articulation and I mean they look really cool they got some cool features oh, you can pop off the shell but other than that uh, I can see, you can kind of see why these guys really didn't catch on P kids were expecting a little more for the time uh, you know, but other than that, really cool toy. Really cool. Really cool. Let's just plug this back in. Uh, this side gives me the most issue. So if you want to pick up one of these little guys, he's about eight inches tall. Just thought I'd throw that up there now. If you really want to pick up one of these inhumanly guys, uh, go to eBay. I got him at QuadCon in Springfield. Uh, I keep not posting or making or finishing those videos in uh, at all, but they're there. So if you like this video, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.